PID Toolbox version 0.4 is now available for download. It's built around a completely new way of tuning. You can now compare multiple log files and build a complete picture of the dynamics of your copter across a range of PID settings. In this video, I'm going to go through the main highlights of this new software. Okay, so we launched PID Toolbox, and the first thing you'll notice is there's some slight difference here in the control panel. No longer is there the selecting A versus B file. Now we can just hit the select button, and it's going to open this window as usual. But now the nice thing is what we can do is we can select a group of log files at the same time. So I've got a bunch of different log files here where I'm doing a PID tune, where I have various levels of P gain. So I'll just grab those and then I'll grab these where I vary D gain. And then I can just hit open. And Pit Toolbox automatically begins downloading all of these files. Now you notice the interface looks very similar to what it did before, but in this case now we have instead this drop down menu which allows you to see all of the files that are currently in the workspace. So by just simply selecting one of those, we change the output over here. So whichever file we want to look at, we can simply just and it's a drop down. It's very quick. And what you're looking at now, previously we had roll, pitch, and yaw for file A and then below that for file B. But now because we're able to load in multiple log files, we only want to display a single one at a time. The start and end time works the exact same way as before. The number we input here allows us to select the portion of data that we want to analyze. And this is specific to each log file. So if I were to go start here, for example, and I wanted to make this say 10 and I can go to log the second one and have a different window for that. Uh, most of this is very much like the previous version. I've also added here now a Y scale input. It reduces the scale for the roll, pitch, and yaw Y axis. So you can see now it's going plus or minus 200 degrees per second in this scale. So you can really zoom in on the data if you like. As with previous versions, you can just select anywhere in the white space to open it up into a full view. Now we're going to go ahead and look into the step response tool. This is where the biggest difference exists is in the step response tool. So what you'll see now is all of your log files are actually located here in this little file list. And what's nice now is we can simply grab a bunch of these at the one time. So if I want to just look at all of these where I varied the P gain, for example, I can just select all of those, select run and it plots them all up together. You can see all the different the different uh, curves here, and they're color coordinated to match the information over here to the right. So you can see the P gain slowly going up by 10 points each time. It shows you the peak and the peak time, the highest point here and the time of that peak, as well as latency, which is the, uh, which is the latency at half height, 0.5 mark. What's really neat about this is we're able to then look across a range of PID settings to get a better understanding of the full dynamics of our copter across different PID gains and PD ratios. And this allows us then to make a really informed decision as to what set of, of PID gains is going to work best. Now the good thing about this is that at any point in time you can also add files to the list. So just clicking select and then looking for some other files you want to add to that list to do different analysis. So for example, here I have a few examples where I was doing a throttle sweep. So I can just load those in. And then those are just added to the files that are currently in the workspace. So let's look in the spectral analyzer now. So things are a little bit different in the spectral analyzer because of course now we're not comparing just an A versus B file. Again, the space is divided into four different columns. Each of the columns is associated with this drop down where we can select the file that we want to analyze. And when we click on that file, and the top here it gives us the estimated gyro delay and determ delay in milliseconds. The reason it's not giving a good delay here is because it is a throttle sweep and it requires some, um, some roll and pitch movement in order to compute that. So we would normally just ignore these estimated delays for throttle sweep examples. And then over here we have our breakout control panel. We have run, Reset just resets all these values back to defaults. We have a drop down for presets. It's a much more simplified list than before. These are now organized according to whether you're just showing one file or whether you're comparing an A file versus a B file or four different files. The columns are separated by a little vertical line between these. So in the first two cases here, we're comparing an A versus B file. Here we're comparing four different files. 
let's just go ahead and plot the first one. And so everything looks pretty much as it did before in terms of the output of the spectrograms, different color maps, and level, different level of smoothing. You notice here our button for 2D is down here. So this is a good example now of where I might use an AABB configuration where I will compare file A, which I've selected in the drop down for, for the first two columns, and then file B will be this file for the second two columns. And I'm going to plot gyro dterm for file A and gyro and dterm for file B. So there you go. And finally, we have a button for setup information. And this is, uh, by all accounts, very similar to previously as well, but if, in order to show d the information for a given file, we have this drop-down. Finally, if you hit reset here, this will clear everything in the workspace and you can start over. There you have it, PID Toolbox version 0.4 in a nutshell. Let me know what you think in the comments. Go ahead and download it, it's free. You can start doing this basement tuning method that we've been describing in other videos. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one.